impact has the Brexit vote already had on the UK economy? There is context to the question, of course. Jaguar Land Rover says it's extending a shutdown in production in April because mm. of potential Brexit mm. disruption. Deutsche Bank is moving 400 billion euros of balance sheets assets to Frankfurt. Two insurance giants are moving to the European Union. AIG is moving to Luxembourg. Chubb's moving to France. They say explicitly because of Brexit. Panasonic and Sony yeah. are moving their headquarters to if Amsterdam you... because of Brexit. I can actually go on, no, of course but you, you take the point. But, but, but not only take the point, but if you actually explore what that is about, and I don't blame any of them, it is not about Britain being outside with a deal or inside the EU. What it is about is uncertainty. Yes, which and, Brexit's and, and right now, this morning, in Newcastle, there's a businesswoman going to work. She owns her own business. She employs 20 people. She pays tax. She's got a house on the line. She is a typical business person in the United Kingdom. With great respect, not JLR or all the banks you just reeled off, but that is the core of British business. And what they've got is uncertainty. They've got lack of stability and they cannot predict where they are. So what's the one thing they won't do is risk any more investment in their business till they know where they stand and they can touch the bottom of the pool they're swimming in. What is killing this is not Brexit. It is the uncertainty created by 650 people in the House of Commons who are fundamentally, as a political class, letting down the United Kingdom. But they're because, doing that, some of them, they say. Not necessarily, well, they wouldn't yeah, say letting that, down it, well, but they are concerned about getting the right deal. I have to say, tell you, a, a principle is the last refuge of a scandal. And, no, and, but in and all what they are Panasonic doing, and Sony aren't going to move their no, headquarters no, back. Yeah, yeah. No, I completely agree. Right. No, so we're we in violent got, agreement here. What we I'm, have got significant losses. You, what you actually what I'm trying to say to you is, it is not whether Brexit happens, it is the uncertainty that has been created by nothing happening. But there was always going to be this period before a deal was done, because it's complicated. Liam Fox said... No, of course there is. Liam Fox, but, who's meant to be in charge I of have, helping us get these trade deals, said it yeah. was going to be extremely simple to get a Brexit deal. No, no, I'm... I'm and he was wrong. I, uh, well, not only was he, he was probably right at the time when he said it, but he's wrong now. What, in the even I, I, I can fact. tell you, even I, having been on the inside of trade deals and in the House of Lords and watching this as a crossbench peer, I don't do party politics. Even I, a couple of years ago, thought that the nation had spoken, the country would get together and they would formulate something that really worked. And on that basis, Liam Fox was right at the time. What has happened is the Remainers, and especially the establishment elite, have set about sabotaging Brexit. I think that's so, an incredibly lazy way of no, categorising people. No, it's not lazy. People. No, it's not the lazy. The establishment elite, you are fueling Ca hatred against people what? like... Who, yeah, Anna mean, Subri, for instance, why, who, why, who falls into this why category are you of people... using words like hatred? I'm not fueling anything. Well, people are calling her well, Nazis so outside in words, the way, so in other words, the way you ever take a position that it doesn't conform with the norm for some reason. I'm fueling hatred, am I? But you're All I'm trying to say is, well, it was sabotage. Calling them elite. They set up. Well, they are. I'm, I'm only calling it what well, it might be politically incorrect, but it is true. I'm not saying it's politically what, incorrect, but what, you are also getting what, rid of the notions that they believe was, just as strongly as you yes, believe well, that they want the best deal for no, this country. A lot of them don't want to leave the EU. Well, that might be what they right. think is the best deal. And so, therefore, what they're trying to do is stop the execution of the will of 17.4 million but people. But what about MPs like Nick and, Bowles, who now so, faces yeah, deselection yeah, in his own I'm party? I'm just trying to get to you back purely to... Purely for even trying to say, I'm we need to take to no deal to off to the what table. you actually said, which was Liam Fox was wrong. What Liam Fox was at the time. And I said, I thought, I genuinely well, believe... Yeah, hang on, we have a clip of you I telling Andrew believed. Neil. Can I play this clip? Yes, of course. You told Andrew Neil on the Sunday Politics programme in 2016 that not one job, job. would be lost exactly. due to Brexit. And I stand by it. I stand by it. There are many arguments to stay in. And there are many arguments that come out, but the one thing that we've got, we ought to kill this canard now, is that not one job in Britain is at risk because of EU not membership. One. Not one. Because there would be a free trade agreement because we're exactly. so important exactly. to Europe. And by the way, that doesn't mean that there aren't other reasons why we might want to be in or out. But I, I get so frustrated with people who go, three million jobs are at risk if we're out of the European Union. It's rubbish. And I stand by every word of that. Even because though all in, those companies oh, have lost, well, no, lost their time because, there, they've moved their headquarters? Just, just a minute. When I said that, and that's why I stand by it today, when I said that, I genuinely believed this nation would get behind the will of the majority 
and make this happen. And if that had happened, you'd have a better withdrawal agreement because Barnier would not have been negotiating against a divided church. You'd have had a much more certainty so that all those companies that you'd troll off would actually not be worried about the uncertainty because there wouldn't be any. And we would be working towards doing quality deals with the rest of the world. What we've got instead is a completely divided nation. We've got a completely divided political class. And we've got a completely... You don't like me using the word sabotage, but people who are actually in positions of influence and power who have decided this country isn't going to leave the EU, notwithstanding what the majority have said, let's actually manoeuvre everything to that position. If you're negotiating against that, whether you're America or China or India, or if you're negotiating against, in terms of a withdrawal agreement, Barnier, it's the easiest thing in the world, because all you have to do is keep saying no. And you can't, you're talking about somebody who doesn't have the will of behind them to get it done. So you stand by a statement that's no I longer true. Do. But though, in Those jobs have been lost. People no, they, are losing they, jobs they because of uncertainty. Are. Right, let's pick one. 4,500 jobs at JLR. 4,500 jobs are not going to happen overnight. They're not happening on the line. And what's more, they're not all down to Brexit. They're down to making diesel engines the you world doesn't want anymore. The They're down to not sell it, no longer selling to... them to China because China's not buying anymore. Neither of those two calls are anything to do with Brexit. Sorry, I can give you anecdotally an example in Silicon Roundabout in East London mm -hmm. where there's going to be no more investment in yep. particular startups. That's a job loss. Right, but it's nothing to do with Brexit. It's everything it to do with the uncertainty caused by the debate about You're Brexit. You're playing with semantics. I am not. We wouldn't I, be in this Emma, uncertainty, uncertain I, position I, without Brexit. Uh, I... I chair six different companies in different sectors of different sizes across different parts of the UK. And we, all those companies actually are saying, until we know what's happening, we are no longer going to invest the big money. So if one but, but job is minute, lost on April the 1st, if we've knew, left, once we know you're wrong. Once we know what's going on, once we know what's going on, then we decide what we do in the, on the, on the long-term basis. But whether it's Brexit or whether it isn't, this country, that's why I was right with Andrew Neil, this country has got nothing to fear if you get a quality trade deal with Europe, which is what I said in that clip, and it has nothing to fear if we actually have certainty. It has everything to fear if 650 members of the political class actually deliver no certainty to business, no stability, and no predictability for the nation. With the greatest respect, you are wrong. Jobs have already been lost because of Brexit. Not because of Brexit, but because of the uncertainty caused by the debate about Brexit. OK, well, either I'm living in a land where I'm not understanding no. the sentences you're saying, or, well, well, I, you know, I... I, I, I do do this for a living. Well, so do I. Well, I ask you, you don't sit questions. in boardrooms like me. No I, no, I don't, but that doesn't deny me my ability to have a grasp of facts. Well, of course it doesn't. And, and nor, actually, you are probably more in tune with the guy on the street. I accept that. But what I'm is, saying is, is businesses... You know, it's so easy. So what, you're just going to pop up next to the bloke who loses his job in Panasonic no, and not. say, not because of Brexit, mate, it's because of the uncertainty to do with as, Brexit. Why would I be as insensitive and as polemic as that? You put your arm point. around them and you look after them but and you try to retrain point. them and reskill them into something else. People in your position who but have, it's not, with respect, it is have not the experience. About Brexit. You have the experience. Why can't you just admit it's what? become more complicated than even well, people like hey, you could have imagined? Hey, I completely agree with that. I'm going to come to admit that. Therefore, I absolutely agree therefore, with that. Therefore, there but is I, an honesty it's why to is it? Why has it become more complicated? It's become more complicated because of people who don't want it to happen.